this video gives some ideas about how children can learn maths and use maths vocabulary while playing with Lego. Lego is a popular toy among children of all ages in primary school and playing with Lego can be a great way of learning maths. In this video you will see some activities that help children develop early mathematical skills like classifying, matching, comparing and ordering, skills typically developed in the infant classes. Then you will see some activities for exploring length and symmetry. and I'm going to sort the bricks uh, on colour. The way that I can sort them is on the number of little circles on the top of them. Hmm? Why does this one not go in the group with these ones? Because uh, it, um, it has one, like, these have eight and this only has four. Right. Can this one go in here? Yep. Why? Uh, because it's eight. And does it matter that it doesn't have the same colour? Nope. Why not? Because uh, it's only the amount of circles on the top. Uh, if you want to build a long table, then you have to find the longest block. So this is the longest one. Uh, this is the next one. And this one, and this one, this one, and the last one is this little one. And what's the last one? Uh, the last one is just one. And what do we call that? What do you mean? If this one is the longest. Oh, the shortest. This one is the shortest. The shortest, very good. Now we will look at some activities suitable for older children. In the next part of the clip, you will see some jumps for the horses. First, the height of each jump will be estimated. Katie is using the benchmark of the length of her fingernail to help her figure out the height of each fence. Then she will measure it using her ruler. Seven or eight centimetres. This one is probably 10 or 11 centimetres. So now I'm going to measure with my, with my finger and then I'm going to measure with my ruler. Why are you going to measure with your finger? Uh, because my finger is about a centimetre. Your fingernail is about a centimetre. Very good. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimetres. Make a logo yeah. for our stables and it has to be symmetrical. So we're going to check out any of these symmetrical. The last one. So first we're going to do it vertically. So if you fold it uh, vertically then it will be... Uh, then it will be the same on both sides because the eyes will be going onto the eyes, the mouth will be going onto the mouth and the nose will fall over onto itself. And then the red will fall over onto the red and the orange will onto the orange. And if you were to do it hor um, if you were to do it horizontally, it wouldn't because the nose would be falling over onto the mouth and the red would be falling over onto the orange. And then the eyes would be falling over onto the mouth. If you were to be doing it ver um, horizontally, Diagonally, then uh, it wouldn't be the same because the red would be falling onto the orange, and then the eyes would be falling onto here on the mouth, and the nose wouldn't be falling onto it, onto itself either. So, what would you say about both sides of the line there? Uh, Are they the same? Nope. 